viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Sarah Maida. So today I'm taking you through CRE Form 1, Lesson 3. We are still under the topic, Introduction to CRE. Our subtopic is the Bible as the a library. Why the Bible is referred to as a library. Welcome. So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain why the Bible is referred to as a library. The learner should be able to explain why the Bible is referred to as a library. First of all, we look at a library. What's a library? It's a collection or a group of collection of books organized and maintained for use. Maybe for reading, for consultation, for study or research. When we say the Bible is a library, remember the Bible is referred to as a library since it's a collection of inspired scriptures or books. The Bible, it contains 66 books. The Bible is also divided into two, that's the Old and the New Testament. The Old Testament contains 39 books and the New Testament contains 27 books. So we can see the Bible is a collection of inspiring scripture of many books. So we first we look at the reasons why the Bible is referred to as a library. One, it is a collection of inspired scriptures of all books. It is a collection of inspired scriptures, scriptures all books. Remember, we have said it contains sixty-six books, just like a library and it has that that has many books another reason why the bible is a library the bible is a reference book for christians the bible is a reference book for christians the, the authors of the bible had special spiritual guidance hence each book was written for a purpose so christians use the bible for reference the books were written at different times in history just like the books in the library, books are written at different times. Same as the Bible, it was written at different times in history. The Bible has literary works. Literary works means, means different styles. The Bible can be written in, the, the, just like how books are written in different styles. They can be poems, songs, prayers. The same as the Bible, it has literary works. Some books in the Bible are written as songs, some as prayers, some as, some as wise sayings, some as like gospels. So the Bible has literary works. Another reason why the Bible is referred, is referred to as a library, it contains different topics. The, the books written contain different topics. We have the gospel books, which is about the gospel. We have the songs. We have the wise saints, the psalms. We they contain different topics. We have another reason why the Bible is popular is because the Bible has different books written by different authors. Just like other books, you may find them in the library. Books are different. Are written by different authors. The same as the Bible. The Bible has those, all those books in the Bible are written by different authors. Remember, we said some authors of the Bible, like in the New Testament, we have Luke, we have Paul. In the Old Testament, we say some books are written by Isaiah. Another reason why the Bible is referred to the Bible is because the books of the Bible were written under different situations and circumstances. The books of the Bible were written under different situation and circumstances like the books of the book of exodus remember it was written during the journey the exodus journey so books were written under different situation and circumstances remember also the books the gospel books they were in the, they, in the new testament they are written during the like during the birth of jesus the Messiah, that's why the books of the Bible are written under different situations and circumstances. So, we have looked at the, less, the reason 
why the Bible is refers to as a library. So that's the end of our lesson and we have an activity and we hope you answer the following questions correctly. Activity 1. Explain how the Bible is considered to be a library of books. Then state how many books are found in the Old Testament. So on to our references. You can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education, Student Book 1, KLB 3rd Edition. For this and more, you may contact us through our SMS line on the screen. You can also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on our Twitter, Elimu TV underscore KE, and on Facebook, Elimu TV. Till next time, have a nice time.